Chapter 3.4 Procurement, Origin and Quality of Data For the content of this sub-chapter Firstly, refining the system flowchart and preparing data procurement Secondly, is procurement of specific data Generic data and partial LCI And lastly, estimation Okay, first thing first is refining the system flowchart and preparing data procurement. So, how are we going to do this? So, firstly, we need to find the product description. So, which materials in which quantities are used? For example, two piece, mass, or another meaningful unit. So, secondly, which is step two on how we can prepare our data. So, we need to do a system analysis. So, what is a system analysis? It is a preliminary system analysis that has already been conducted during the goal and scope definition and during this time it has now to be expanded and refined. So now we will continue with on how to procure our data. So the life cycle inventory consists of so firstly which is the primary data. Okay, for the primary data, it is often available depending on the willingness of the companies to procure data and make them available. Secondly, which is the generic data. So what is generic? Generic is a word from the Greek origin, which means general concern. It indicates that specifics are not meant. They are average or representative single values. Thirdly, is estimations. And estimations will only be used if the others are not available. So estimation will only be used if there is an absence of any data for a material, a construction element, a chemical, or an agricultural process, and if the information needed cannot or will not be provided by the industry. Next is on procurement of specific data. Primary data are available or can be procured depends substantially on whether or not the manufacturer of the azamine product is integrated into the conduct of the LCA. Specific data records generally allow and improve spatial and temporal assignment of emissions and resource consumption, which also may have a stronger influence on future LCIAs. So how are we going to identify a specific data? Among the examples of easily procured data by enterprise are the demand and nature of material, the used energy and forms of energy such as heat, electricity and fuels, co-product, production and nature of waste, operating and ancillary material, transportation to or from and within the examined enterprise. Apart from that, the examples of high quality data procured with a high effort are Emissions released into the air after filtration Emissions into water after wastewater purification Decontamination of soil and ground The usage of pesticides and fertilizers such as uh, what substances are used and how much Data concerning ionizing radiation, biological emissions and nuisances such as noise and odor Oh! Do note that these emissions are usually measured and documented for other purposes such as environmental legislation in most developed countries. So, only the sum or group parameters are measured and collected. Now, let us look at an example of a data format in the unit process. This is an example of a punching of a steel sheet. If you do not know what is a steel sheet, this is a steel sheet. Okay, let's carry on. The data collected are considered as a fictitious data. In an enterprise, steel sheets are punched as molded parts from a coil. The simplest case is assumed. A company in Germany punches only one type, which in this form is transported to only one customer, who builds two of these sheet metals into one of his products, which is speed. The coils originate from one supplier only, and the data could be shown as for the input and for the output from the input and output the data cannot be used directly for a calculation of an LCA of product P with the functional unit of one piece of P Knowing this, we need to change the data into a usable data for an LCA calculation So how can we change the data? We can use this form 
This is a general form for the structuring of the data collection. I will further explain on how this form works theoretically later on. We already know on how to change the data using a form. But do you know how the form works theoretically? It is done by changing the operational data into unit process data. Now, we would like to know on how to change the operational data into unit process data record. Firstly, we need to change the primary data into a meaningful unit in LCA. Next, by taking the generic data record for inclusion of pre-change such as the electricity mix in Germany and convert it into inputs and outputs as elementary flows. From the electricity mix, it will be categorized as electricity generation from raw material extraction to grid electricity. After that, the input and output data of unit process including the upstream pre-chain will be transformed into a data record of unit process based on elementary flows and usable in the inventory. After learning about specific data or primary data, let us carry on to the generic data and partial LCI. So, first thing first, which data are considered as generic? Firstly, generic data are always based on the specific analysis of material and energy flows in defined plants. Secondly, if average values cannot be calculated or carefully selected, Representative single values can also be defined as generic data. Thirdly, if the origin of a special raw material is not known, or if it is not known in which factory a material or intermediate product was manufactured. Lastly, generic data can also be in a form of average unit process data or results of partial inventories such as cradle to factory gate in LCIs. So, among the important applications for the use of generic data are energy, transportation, chemicals, and commodities. We can also attain our generic data from reports, publications, and websites. Firstly, from BUAL or Swiss Federal Office for Environment, Forest, and Landscape from APME, which is Association of Plastic Manufacturers in Europe, from COSOL, which is European LCI Surfactant Study Group, from PROBAS, which is Process Oriented Based Data for Environmental Management, is from JAMIS, which is Total Release Model of Integrated System. Next, we can also purchase our data from purchasable databases and software systems. You can purchase generic data from Boosted Model UK, EcoInvent, Gabby from the University of Stuttgart, Sima Pro from Free Consultants, and the Umberto. Last but not least, estimations. Let me remind you once again that estimation would only be used if primary and generic data are not available. So, how can estimation is possible to be used? Firstly, by attaining all the data or data from other geographical areas or other system boundaries. Secondly, by using data of chemically similar compounds, materials, and so on. Thirdly, estimations are done based on information in technical manuals. And don't forget that data procured using estimations have to be tagged in the inventory and have to be discussed during the interpretation phase. We have already finished the subtopic 3.4. Now, we will do a really short recap. What type of data that exists in LCI? Primary data? Generic data? Or all of above? The answer for this is all of above. Okay, question number two. In what situations does estimations will be used? When there is an absence of data, when primary data is too complicated, when generic data requires too much steps to be converted. The answer for this is when there is an absence of data. Last question. We all good for today. 
which one is not an example of high quality data procured with a high effort. Emissions into the air after filter. Emissions into water after wastewater purification. The time purchase for pesticides and fertilizers. The answer is, yep, you guessed it, the time purchase for pesticides and fertilizers. This video is brought to you by my lecturer, Dr. Ami Hamza bin Sharai, and me, myself, Musfira binti Mahyudin. Thank you for watching!